<clears throat> hey everybody, uh, welcome to another review. I have some time this morning, so I decided to get <clears throat> a quick review in. Uh, I'm going to test out Malware Defender here. What Malware Defender is, it's a uh, HIPS application. Basically, you could call it a classical HIPS. And uh, you can see some of the rules that I created right here while the system was installing. Um, you got all sorts of different things. You can find uh, results, auto start, all sorts of things. Processes, <clears throat> kernel modules, network ports, hooks, auto starts, registry, so on and so forth. Uh, let me show you something here real quick that I'm going to do. Now, normally, you know, I don't like to mess with the settings in a program. If I can get this thing to work. Um, there we go. But because this is a classical HIPS and it doesn't, this program in particular um, doesn't have an a activated whitelist from what I can see. Uh, it asks you about everything and anything, including processes within Windows. And that gets really kind of annoying. But I found while I was looking through the options here, it's got a little thing where you can go allow signed applications to be run by system applications this should really quiet down the system um, I think that was it the only setting I really wanted to change because anything I was doing I was getting asked questions now, some people like that some people don't I think things happening within the system by system files should probably be safe to get done automatically so I got some links here with some uh, malware. I just want to see how it handles some of these. Um, it doesn't have an AV engine or anything in it. For some odd reason the computer's running really slow now. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> This is audio device. That's fine for now. Okay, so we have uh, create a new process. Uh, it's trying to Internet Explorer is trying to create this new open up this target, so we can easily deny that. We can create a rule to remember this application, and there you go. You can easily kill the file. We can see the number of questions you get before that happens. These are all within the system. A lot of these are within uh, Windows. So they definitely need to really work on a whitelist because this is getting old and annoying very fast. Now, of course, they have a training mode here that you can uh, use. And there you go again. You can see that it's trying to access that application. So if you hit deny, and then you hit deny again, and deny again, it blocks it. I'm only going to do a couple of these because these, the number of pop-ups yet. Oh, wait. I already downloaded that one. Stuck on that last one. There we go. Okay, trying to create a new process. I want to see what happens if I allow this. Because this is just telling you that Internet Explorer wants to open up that file. Once again, trying to create a new process. And there you go. Now we have the file. I'm trying to uh, open up another file here. Or, no, it's trying to create a file. So we will deny that. And we can just deny all these.
and you can even put it in a group and deny and it'll completely kill the process from being able this is it's trying to extract here what it was trying to do but I blocked everything instead Okay, let's try one more here. I'm already at the five five minute mark. So you can see this piece of software is very user interactive and you have to spend a lot of time answering questions. Okay, so we will allow this because just Internet Explorer trying to open up the process once again, Internet Explorer. Now you have the file is trying to create a new process. So we can do that, we can do that, we can put it in blocked applications, we can deny. Okay, so let's see if we have any of these running around in Task Manager. So you can asking me again if I can open up Task Manager. That's getting really annoying. Oh, you can see we have something right here, file one. So that's actually right now uh, in in RAM. So what I'm going to do, okay, this is getting really annoying. What I'm going to do now is restart the computer, see if these uh, that process is going to disappear, wherever it went. Uh, it's all gone now. But I'm going to restart, and then I'll be back. Uh, after I restart, I'm going to download Malwarebytes and update it and do a scan. So I'll see you after I restart and do a scan with Malwarebytes. Okay, so I finally got <clears throat> Malwarebytes installed, updated, and scanned. Um, it's been a um, exercise in patience to see how many times I can click allow. So uh, Malwarebytes scanned and all it found was a temp file, a Trojan temp file here. Uh, I don't think it's running anywhere in memory, but you know, it could easily hide itself in uh, from a uh, <clears throat> task manager, so you never know. I mean, I'm sure I could find it in with Malware Defender if I went and looked for it, if it's running, but I don't think it's running. I think it's just a leftover file. So we'll remove that. There we go. And now I'm gonna go and install uh, Komodo Cloud Scanner. So I'll be right back. Real quick, I wanted to show you guys here how uh, Komodo Cloud Scanner works. It found a suspicious service. This is from the Malware Defender, and it doesn't know about it. And uh, what it did is it sent out the MD service.exe out to uh, the Komodo Instant Malware Analysis, the CIMA, um, and it's doing an analysis on this executable. And when the analysis is done, it's going to return a result here on the system. So if it doesn't know about a service, that if it's safe or it looks suspicious, it will send it out and give it an, anal an analysis to see can it possibly be something bad or what is it. So you can kind of see how this works. So I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so... Um, Komodo Cloud Scanner here is still scanning on this file, and I've encountered this before when submitting files to CIMA, um, mainly because there's something weird going on with the EXE and it does a lot of processes or something, and it'll get stuck. Um, sometimes the analysis will never finish, or it'll take a long time to finish, uh, but this was the only file that it was stuck on, and I know this is a safe file, so I'm not going to worry about it. So it hasn't found anything else. Um, and I did a scan also with Hitman Pro. And other than these temporary unit files, which are normal, uh, the only one that snuck by here is this Trojan, and it's uh, sitting in uh, System32 drivers. So that's kind of concerning. Um, unless I accidentally clicked to allow it, which I doubt I did, uh, but it's possible I might have. Uh, I have this in learning mode right now while I was installing Komodo and Malwarebytes because the uh, the alerts were driving me up the wall. Unless I accidentally clicked allow, which I, like I said, like I doubt I did, that let it through. So I'm running out of time here. Everybody take care. Uh, this is my review of Malware Defender and have a good day.